Hey guys, Aaron here. Today we're going to be replacing the upper control arm and ball joint assembly on this Chevy Silverado, years 2014 through 2018. Now if you have a Chevy Tahoe or a Chevy Suburban, GMC Sierra or GMC Yukon, these procedures will be the exact same. And the parts are also same for two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. I'll put a link in the description of where you can purchase these parts and how much they are. So before we begin, let's go over the tools that we're gonna need to get the job done right. So we're gonna need a half inch ratchet, an open end 13 16 socket, a three quarter or 19 millimeter socket, a 13 16 socket, a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna be using my half inch impact, some side cutters, um, a zip tie just to hold up a couple parts, and then of course a grease gun to grease our new ball joint. And of course, we're also going to need a set of new control arms. Now, I'm going to be replacing the whole control arm assembly, not just the ball joint. I'm sure I could just press in a new ball joint, but, you know, with these coming with brand new bushings, it's a lot easier and quicker just to replace the whole assembly by itself. Now, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and schedule yourself in alignment with your local mechanic. I really urge you guys to get an alignment done anytime you replace a suspension component. It's just not worth wearing your tires unnecessarily. Uh, the first thing I like to do is just to go ahead and remove any ABS wiring or brake lines that you have in the way. Um, using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove two bolts. Just kind of swing it out of the way. Next thing, by using a 13 16 socket, go ahead and remove the nuts on the um, alignment uh, cam bolts right here. These are the bolts that hold on the lower control arm, we're just gonna loosen them so when we pop the ball joint, the control arm is free to swing up. Just a couple turns, you don't have to take them out all the way yet. All right, next step is gonna be to uh, remove the nut on the lower ball joint, or the upper ball joint here, um, using a 19 millimeter socket. All right, just go ahead and loosen it until it's just about to unthread. We want to keep it on because when we go ahead and to separate this ball joint, we don't want the um, spindle here just to fall down and potentially damage any brake lines or anything like that. Next thing, go ahead and take a good size hammer and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the um, spindle where the ball joint goes in. Give it a couple good whacks. Chances are it'll free it by itself. If not, go ahead and get a pickle fork. Um, or some kind of pry bar, get underneath there, and while hitting, it should free up. There it is. Go ahead, take the nut off. Now what I like to do, um, when, we, when we go ahead and remove this upper control arm, this whole assembly is going to want to turn down. So what I like to do is just take a zip tie, tie it around the sway bar. That way it limits its motion and we're not going to have a lot of stress on our ABS wires or our brake cable.
Alright, so our new control arm is back on, the bolts are back in, however, we're not going to tighten them down just yet. We're going to go ahead and put our ball joint back into our spindle, and then we can go ahead and tighten it down. If we were to tighten up the control arm in this position and force it down to go into the spindle, it'd put a lot of pressure on those bushings, and they'd probably crack prematurely. We definitely don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and put this ball joint back in, torque it down, and then we'll mess with our alignment bolts to get them just right. And the last thing to do is just go ahead and grease our new ball joint. Um, just a couple squirts of grease should be sufficient. The last thing to do is go ahead and of course get your vehicle aligned. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave something in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.